Hey guys, uh, girls, thanks for watching another video. Richard Hell with Hell Associations here. I get a lot of different questions and emails regarding Blogger and how you can optimize your blog here on Blogspot. Um, I want to give you guys a quick tutorial, show you around how you can get the best and get the most out of your blog as far as SEO performance is concerned. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, we're going to go into the back office of the blog that I'm going to show you. Um, over here on your left side, this is your navigation. So what I want you to do is come down here all the way to settings. So we'll click on that. And the first thing that we're going to do is going to be our basic title and our basic description. You want to follow you know, your SEO principles when it comes to using keywords in your title and using keywords in your description and this is where you want to put exactly what your blog is about in your title and your description uh, this is going to be placed into your code that way search engines and a search bot is going to be able to go through it read it and see what your blog is about um, basically that is all that you have to do on this first section so just make sure you have a title filled in make sure you have a description filled in um, posts and comments nothing big as far as SEO is concerned you might want to go down there and change your comment sections mobile and email language and format and I'm not even going to bother with that as you can see it has nothing to do with SEO but most of the changes that we're going to make is in search preferences now if you'll see right here it says meta text right here is going to be your meta description now this is going to be super important because this is what is going to be read by the search engines just as important as your first description that you provide in the settings when it goes to basic settings so very important that you fill this out now when you come down here custom robots dot text file yours is going to be disabled if you haven't messed with it so this is very important because this tells the search engine exactly what to search on within your website so what we're going to do is I'm going to give you the code that is going to search everything excluding tags uh, tags have no use so we don't want the search bot to search our tags and I'm hoping that you'll be able to see this right here I'll give you a second to write it down real quick and you're going to use this exact same code excluding right here this is the URL for my blog here at Blogspot instead of Hell Associations what you're going to do is you're going to put the name of your blog in this area right here everything else is going to remain the same and what this does is up to 500 pages and what I mean by that is the search bot will go through 500 pages if you have more than 500 pages what you would do is copy an exact code just like this and you'd put 1000 pages now you have to have a code every 500 pages so if you have 2000 you're going to have to do four different codes when you come in here there's plenty of room that allows up to 10,000 characters this right here is another element that you do not want to copy and paste so all you need is user agent semicolon and star disallow colon 
backslash slurge allow colon backslash then it's gonna be your site map you copy that word for word except for the URL so I'll give you another second to copy that real quick because this is very very important as far as SEO is concerned now every website every URL should have a custom robots text file and of course when you're done copying it which you can pause it if I've went too fast but you're gonna save the changes and that's going to be it and that's going to be done so um, other options as far as search you, you really don't see nothing so search preferences we got this done some of y'all might be interested in redirects um, if you got your own host and your own domain but I'm not gonna talk about that so we got it there we go okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back out here and I want to show you another thing real quickly that you can do on your post so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go I'll look through one of these and I'm going to show you how I have mine set up um, title super important you click on your picture Another thing that you should be doing is when you click on your picture, you'll see a option bar come up here like this. When you go to properties, alternate text, this is important because the search engine cannot read your picture. So you need to make sure all your pictures here in Blogger have alternate text. And that way, it's going to let the search engine know that what your picture is about um, like I said all I gotta do is left click go to properties so that's important your headers they're always important links these backlinks through other articles and different things like that all that's important what I want to show you over here is labels labels not too much effect on SEO but it's it's important to go ahead and add them it's just like your keywords or your tags for this specific article but I get a lot of questions how do you add a description to each page and that's what I wanted to show you down here as you can see I have mine search description open and this is exactly where you add your description now if you don't see this search description box it's because you have the option turned off and real quickly I'm going to show you how to uh, enable this and turn it on let me go ahead and save this real quick and so we're going to go back down here to settings um go back to your settings and you're going to go back down to search preferences now when I showed you this before you might have seen this on no and what you want to do is you want to enable search description this is going to open all the other search descriptions to your post so click on yes go ahead and add your description for your blog and save changes and when you go back to your articles you'll notice that your search description 
is now there. That way you can fill it in because that's going to be important. But these are just a few of the different tips that you can do on Blogger that's going to help you get better SEO results from all your effort. So I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks for your time and I'll see you next time.